and we're going to land it here. You think you're just getting tired of games? No, not at all. I, I love video games. Even though every time I play video games I like, people say this is a video game for toddlers, and they take a, a big hit off of a lemon pound cake flavored vaporizer cartridge, and then say, I play games for adults, and then sit down and play some Warhammer spreadsheet for like 25 hours, and then go jerk off to hentai. Anyway, sorry, I got a lot of trauma like associated with subjecting my living my entire life in the crucible of anonymous online criticism directed at my intelligence. We're working that out, you know, not you and me, but me and my therapist. It's Alice Madness Returns. It's um, Greedfall. Day of the Damn Tentacle? I never, in a hundred years, would not have gotten this. Only point-and-click adventure game I played as a child, Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist, goaded theme song, uh, 900 floppy disks to play. And I remember, even as a child, I remember having to look up online how to like open an outhouse door. And it was like, take the chewing gum in your inventory and apply it to the hairpin. Dangle the hairpin over the sewer grate outside of the saloon and you'll pick up the outhouse door key. You apply the outhouse door key to the outhouse and then you'll open the door and somebody in their underpants will go close that and that'll open up the next step. And I said, fuck you, Freddy Fargus, Frontier Pharmacist. I'm never playing another point and click adventure game as long as I live. Upgrade reward on like a humanity statue and a sciences statue. Scientists shouldn't get a statue because you need humanities in order to learn how to sculpt. Only people who are proficient in the humanities should get a, a sculpture. Huma uh, people who are proficient in the sciences should get something like a hydrogen bomb. Has he talked about Lizzo yet? Yeah, you missed all the Lizzo discourse. You missed uh, me giving 45 minutes of my opinion on Justin Trudeau's divorce. You're definitely watching the right Twitch channel. Do you look at, the, does the title down here, is it all caps? Emoji, get in here, bullet point list of all the big news happening today, open parentheses, gaming after. It turns out that last part was a fucking lie. Saw Patrol. Going with the firewood. I don't think people are actually going to pay money to see the Paw Patrol movie in theaters, but I kind of hope it happens because I want to see a bunch of like 22-year-olds complain about two-year-olds ruining their screening of Paw Patrol. <laughs> Does anybody else think that decorum in theaters has really fallen a lot these days? I went to see the Paw Patrol movie in theaters and there were a bunch of parents with their kids in there and their kids were going crazy, man. You know what, can I, can I say something? And I'm, I'm sure that people will uh, be annoyed by this statement and I accept that I'm annoying sometimes. I, in fact, I'm more than accept it. To be honest with you, sometimes I kind of enjoy it. I'm. I agree with this chat on many things, political and apolitical. Nothing's apolitical. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm making a joke here. Posting anti-police rhetoric as a response to the cop getting yeeted out of the slide like an action figure in a gotcha machine is mega cringe. Even if he weren't a cop, it would be really, really fun. It would be funny if it was the best person on earth. If it was a, a hero, if it was like a firefighter who saved a hundred orphans from a burning building, if his ass got shot out of the slide the same way that the cop did, it would still be hilarious. Now, is it funnier that it's an officer of the law in uniform? Yes. Everybody gets it. You don't need to make a joke about it after it and be like, you know, this is why we hate the police. It's already the funniest thing that's ever happened, okay? You're actually making it worse. This is something that should be able to unite both sides of the aisle, okay? Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez should be watching the video on Tom Daschle's phone and all three of them should be laughing at it because it's funny, okay? People are constantly like, if you have idiopathic toe walking, it's highly associated with autism. And I was like, I don't, I think I just walk on my toes. Anyway, so that gave me the pause. And I was like, let's look into the symptoms of this. And I did like a self-assessment online. And a lot of the, the behaviors associated with autism are not things that I relate to. And I was like, okay, that settles it. I'm not on the spectrum. Then I started watching Love on the Spectrum. And, uh, a man on the spectrum went on a speed date with somebody, 
and he said, do you mind if I ask when you were born? She said 1997, and he said, oh, nice. That's the same year Men in Black came out, and I said, oh, son of a... <laughs> 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 like, let's not go too hard on Subway, okay? I, I mean, the, the sandwiches are not good. But the bread is okay. It's okay. This is the most N.A. take I've ever heard. Again, if you're European and you're insulting Canadian food, that's fine. If you're insulting American food, just make it make sense. Because anytime someone in Europe is like, check out what I had for dinner today, the shit is like a, a pork chop and like seven boiled peeled potatoes next to it. And then like a, a, a stein of Pilsner. And then you're like... That doesn't look good. And they're like, yeah, but it's the first Pilsner ever made. Like, just get over yourself, okay? Shit is like four gherkins and a, and a radish. Like, it looks like a Germa shitpost on Twitter. In the same way that you complain about me playing new stuff. And you're like, no, you just, seriously, if you just gave Prey a chance, it would really pop off. And I'm like, I don't think it would. I have the exact same thing, but in, inverted for chat, where my experience tells me that sometimes chat does know what they want to see, but most of the time, they don't know what they want to see. They think they want to see Baldur's Gate 3, but then like two hours into Baldur's Gate 3, they're like, I'm going to go leave to watch a streamer um, like drink their own piss or something like that. I'm not willing to drink my own piss. But if you made me... And that will put them ahead of their rival choose between doing a full campaign of, drink, of Baldur's Gate 3 or drinking my own piss, I would have to think about it. Then when I was like 21, if you gave me the choice between like an hour in a swimming pool and 12 of the worst beers you've ever had in your entire life, wouldn't even be a contest. Give me 12 of the worst beers I've ever had in my entire life, please. Now I'm like, holy cow, me, me at age 22 was an idiot, man. Me at age 7 had it all figured out. Go to bed early, get a good night's sleep, wake up, eat a good breakfast, wait 30 minutes, go into the swimming pool, come out of the swimming pool, eat some, like a pepperoni stick or something like that. It's the little things. Did you know that you can have beers in the pool? Wait a minute, hold up. I think I'm just about to enter the, the fourth phase of my life. Dying in a swimming pool accident. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not gonna play that. <laughs> Probably not gonna play Hitler Waifu released yesterday for 60 cents. Probably not gonna play my furry protogen two paws emoji. That's just, it's not, it's not the culture that I'm involved in, which is totally fine. No disrespect, I'm probably not gonna play Truth of Beauty Witch, Marine's Treasure Ship either, or Forbidden Dojo, or U Universe in Come To. <laughs> Welcome to the captivating world of universe in Come 2. Imagine yourself in an adult visual novel game where you are transported to a mysterious planet filmed with incredible surprises. Excuse me? <laughs> Holy cow, I'm glad I didn't have my screen region up. I'm glad I didn't have the audio up either. Oh my god, like I'll just tell you. I clicked on what I thought would open up the Steam page, but instead it just started playing the trailer. It was a young lady going, uh-huh. And I don't, I'm just going to be real with you. I don't know how many phallic objects she has inserted in her orifice, orifices right now. And they're all on display. Like there is no, they're not hiding anything. Why don't you have one stroller? Because if we just got the comfort stroller, well, you know what it fucking is? Um, the comfort stroller is fucking huge. It's like a Chrysler town and country. The Vista's nice. Why are you talking like you own like a stroller dealership? It's like the dude when I was, uh, I was walking in Vancouver and like a, a dude on the street, not a dude that was walking on the street, I mean a dude that was like laying on the street, said, hey, nice Opa Baby Vista. I guess you guys aren't planning on having another one. I was like, this, who do you think you are, man? I don't even know who you are. You're basically going like, you're, you're the... I don't even, I'm trying to think of a famous car salesman and I can't, but it's like the, the world's greatest stroller understander has logged on and then oh, he doesn't know, maybe I'm shooting blanks. Are you shooting blanks? I don't know. I'm not sending my come to the lab, you know, once a month.
I wasn't shooting blanks three years ago, I'll tell you that much. Those were live rounds, hollow points. <laughs> Full metal jacket. What's the one where you replace, you're hidden it from the back and then you replace yourself with a buddy and then you go wave at her from the window so she gets freaked out? Well, that's called like, that's definitely a crime. I believe that if you're 80, that's called the Houdini. If you're like my age, it's called the David Blaine. Look, I don't think anyone here was in danger of doing that, but definitely don't do that. Or like ask first, but that's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> What's your kink? Uh, I, I've always been into the idea of Houdiniing. Really? What's that? Cut to three minutes later, you got a box of your stuff, you're standing on the front step. What about a court jester? I'm just talking about like a, because a court jester, you got to be like appointed. That's like becoming like a, an, an anchor on the news. But like you could just walk into like the the fora, right? Guy who just learned what the fora is. I'm going to go to the fora and just stand up and be. Oh, I got zero acolytes at the fora today. Oh, I always, I look up to Diogenes. I grew up watching Diogenes. He got me through some hard times. Diogenes, do you have any advice for getting more acolytes? Diogenes, do you think it's helped you gain more acolytes to? Proselytize from an old wine barrel. Diogenes like <laughs> Go to character select. I don't I don't know what any of this stuff is and I'm scared. Singrim bold pebble. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. You know what was crazy about being at Disney World? There's a lot of people out there still rocking. And God love them. Still rocking like Rick and Morty t-shirts. And you might think that it's like, I'm putting my face in my hands. Oh brother, they don't know that show is cringe now. I'm actually envious of them. And I know that I could become them, but it's just not, it doesn't come naturally for me. But I'm envious of them because they aren't tapped into this fucking useless ever-changing zeitgeist every single day. Like they went to a store and saw a shirt and they said, oh, Rick and Morty, I like that show. That's pretty funny. So they bought the shirt and they fucking wear the shirt and they are out there living their damn lives. They're not enslaved by the same chains that those of us who have chosen, whether willfully or via inertia, to Keep your finger on the pulse of every how the entire world feels about every single media property, every single person involved in the media property, the political opinions of absolutely everybody on the writing staff. Did anybody, did one of the voice actors committed a crime in Galway in 1979, so I'm never watching Big City Greens ever again. Like They're just out there buying shirts and living their lives, man. That could be us. But for some reason, I resist. I say, I, it would be so easy for that to become me. And instead, I'm like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I rep I've, re I've repulsed. I back away from the medicine. I say, I don't need this. Dialogue in this game is kind of questionable. Listen, all I'm saying, people aren't ready for this take yet. And I understand why. No game should have dialogue. Maybe that's too far. Maybe Disco Elysium should have dialogue. No other game has, has earned the right yet. No, NL, you don't understand the writing in Baldur's Gate 2. Listen, are you an industry plant? Couples that go through the really bad shit usually stay together the longest. Please receive this upvote and vacate the city limits immediately. Careful telling her to vacate. Vacate the shitty limits. This reply is not getting the attention it deserves. I cackled. I fucking hate Reddit, dude. <laughs> fucking... Hey, this shit. This post could be like, my whole family died in a car explosion. The top comment is always like, wow, this blew up. People are like, you're so going to hell for this incredible joke. Then like being at Disney World, which is just sensory overload, to then like, oh yes, I'm going back to my normal job right now, which is just talking for five hours straight and strangers give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down.
Like this is something that is not, when you're in the bubble of doing it, you're like, it's normal. Having been out of it for like nine or ten days, this shit is the fucking twilight zone, man. What's going on? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? This isn't real. We're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. What are we doing here? Put me back in. I was a streamer in charge of playing a mobile game for 6,000 people. And even when my jokes aren't funny, they give me money and tell me that it was the most hilarious thing they've ever seen. Put me back. So true. So true. <laughs> If you see a K on profile picture, they're going to say some nasty words to you. That has no power to me because I don't know if you're ready for this. And I'm saying I'm not trying to yuck your yums. OK. All the anime avatars. The same to me, unless you got Goku in your avatar, but none of you fuckers put Goku in your avatar because I guess that's like too norm core. Like you wouldn't get any any cachet in your social circle because people be like, really, you got a Goku profile picture. Unless you got Goku or like Naruto in your profile picture, whatever anybody tweets at me and they got an anime profile picture, I don't know if it's from Kon or My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, fucking, those shows all look really different. And you know what's the same about them? I ain't seen them! Uh, can we add some smug? Oh, and the bidet needs to talk like the shake weight or Bebe's boobs. Smart bidet, good morning, Randy. Please choose power and temperature. After a little change thing can pop open to pay it, Lamau. You need to be on the writing team. This is perfect in character, especially the end. Lol. Didn't they already kind of do that with the Japanese toilet episode? Dude, thank you. All these comments saying South Park should do a bidet episode. I'm thinking in my head, damn y'all fake South Parkers. People, there is a loneliness epidemic. This shit has nothing to do with the original post at all. These people are just reaching out, looking for somebody to, just somebody to listen, man. <laughs> In the new season, he did get a bidet. Sadly, I don't even think Matt Stone and Trey Parker could make this shit up. So true, Matt Stone and Trey Parker could not make up a plot of a dude jerking off on the toilet. That is simply too crazy for even their revolutionary comedy minds to possibly conceive of. <laughs> Can I say something that you might disagree with? And it's okay to disagree with it. Let's not get mad at each other. But my two cents is we need to stop caring so much in biopics about how much the actor looks like the person that is the subject of the biography. Because I feel like it's not, you're limiting your pool of actors and actresses by exclusively finding ones that bear as close a resemblance as possible to the original person. He's mad because he wants Timothy Chalamet to play him. I told you that in confidence, okay? This is a unit. Both you and your opponents will make up an army comprised of many units. Health, reduced when the unit takes damage. I can't, I can't read this with a straight face. When this bar reaches zero, the unit is out of this fight for the combat and will return to full health when the combat is finished. You realize we got real... What the fuck am I doing? We have real problems in this world. You want me to sit here and read a sentence that says, this is health, when it reaches zero, the unit is out of the fight for this combat? We got real fucking problems. I'm experiencing a loss of purpose. What's going on? What am I doing, man? I gotta call my mom. Can I ask, especially librarian, and I'm not trying to put the whole system on trial. What does it mean when a VTuber graduates? NL out here asking the worst questions ever. Me wondering why uh, people find my hobby gatekeepy and off-putting. Me asking a simple question about it. This is the worst question ever. Me trying to understand and interface with you on something that we could all relate to. Like, I don't understand. This. You know, if I ask like a 55 year old dude with gray hair, what's your favorite part of golf? He doesn't go, it's the worst question ever. He goes, getting away from my spouse for two hours. <laughs> and then we, you know, buy each other a drink and we learn a little bit about life on the other side, right? I'm not trying to actively push people out and then complain about being isolated. I'm trying to find common ground here. I don't know. I used to have to sell like, uh, 
pornos to like old dudes in the when I worked in the general store in high school. <laughs> and it, you, it, and you always have this thing. You make eye contact, and you'd be like, they'd come in for the one thing you you want to bag for that, and mm. like with shame, they would always say yes. Not me forgetting to bring my canvas bags to the porno shop and then <laughs> having to get the plastic bag that says porno bookstore on it instead. <laughs> you know what's annoying is people say like that you start getting old and out of touch when you stop making an effort to learn about things. When you make an effort to learn about things, people go stupid question, boomer. It's so sad how old people don't want to try new things. Hey, hey, uh, that new thing you're interested in, uh, Junior, what is that called again? Oh, Dad, don't talk to me. I told you, it's called VTubing. I told you a thousand times, just leave me alone. Turn off voice chat, you boomer. First off, it's been off. Secondly, you can't call me a boomer. You literally have an Overwatch League badge next to your name. Like, to admit to being an Overwatch player in the modern era is kind of crazy to begin with, but then to immortalize it with a, you paid money to watch Overwatch. Like, and then you said, I'm gonna put this thing next to my name for life. It's been five years, man. You can change it now. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a hater. You called me a boomer first. Didn't you play Overwatch? Yeah, I was paid to play Overwatch. You paid to watch it. Do not compare us. Bright Eyes Country, what? Some of you weren't alive when I'm Wide Awake It's Morning came out and it shows, okay? And that's not your fault, you're 22. I wasn't alive when Remain in Light came out. Now, at age 17, I went back and I sorted that shit out, but I'm 40? Okay, well then just go back and listen to the Foo Fighters and leave me alone, okay? We're talking about stuff that you don't understand. Grandpa, who is six years older than me, start saying shit like Fleetwood Mac's coming to town. Is it worth $387 for Standing room only seats. I thought of a tweet, but I don't want to make it because I think I have a lot of colleagues in the industry. I don't want to make any enemies, right? But here's the tweet. How are you going to explain to St. Peter that you moved to Los Angeles just to play Valorant? That's the, that's the tweet. I'm not going to make it. I feel like Chibli could possibly make it. Holy cow, that's a lot of plus twos. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, like, it seems like every streamer, once they start averaging like 400 viewers, the next tweet they make is like, I'm so excited to announce I'm moving to LA. It's a great opportunity for me to network with other content creators and be in a city where like, I know the culture and stuff like that. And then like the next month is 10 hours a day of Valorant on stream plus Uber Eats. They got no idea. Dude, can I ask you something? Why is Leatherface using a Ryobi? I would have thought that they would be like a steel family or something like that. Dude's literally using an electric chainsaw. No wonder he can only rev it like three times. That four amp battery, it probably only lasts for like two minutes. Metacritic score, this is The Last of Us. Oh, sorry. I, um, this is The Last of Us part dos. He's done it. POV, you are about to be killed by somebody with a bow and arrow, so you have to use a machine gun to uh, blow them away. But when you blow them away, they say, this is gonna make my daughter really sad. And then you go, oh, he was a real person just like me. I haven't really played a Naughty Dog game in like 30 years. I'll never forget in the, in, so the Halloween remake, which was actually like the, the one from 2017 that's pretty decent, they got Mike Myers just in the mental hospital. He's Mike Myers. You gotta cut his head off. It's the only way. They literally got him like in prison, but like a like he killed like a thousand people. <laughs> Something like that. They just got him in the yard pacing around. He's literally neurodivergent. Look what happened. He busted out of the fucking hospital and murdered like another eleven people or something like that. I'm against the death penalty, but this is a supernatural threat, okay? It's the same shit. You gotta cut off Thanos' head. You don't put Thanos in Supermax next to the damn Unabomber, the Richard Reed, the dude who tried to light his shoes on fire 22 years ago. You gotta put him in the wood chipper, Peter Stormare style, okay? It's the same thing with Mike Myers. 
They ever captured Jason Voorhees, they got to they gotta throw him in the wood chipper. Magneto, you can't keep throwing Magneto in the plastic prisons, okay? At some point, you, you, the, the burden is on you. He keeps escaping from the plastic prisons using the hemoglobin in your blood or like the graphite in your pencil or something like that. Anyone figured out who Bobby Althoff is? I keep seeing her pop up doing interviews in bed with Drake. Your eyes flit open. You look at your ornate ceiling. Baldi Athoff, Drake, these words vanish upon waking as if they were from a dream. You are Emperor Basilius of the Byzantine Empire, and the Turks are at your gates. Grab your scimitar. The Roman Empire does not end today. 2016. It's 2020. Ah, an empty, I, I, you know what? I'm so North American pilled, I didn't even notice there weren't any people. I thought this was the parking lot. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one, I, I, it's not an anti-melee thing. I just like, I don't think I've ever seen almost any eSport except for that like one summer that I was like in the competitive Dota. And then I got married. <laughs> but wouldn't it be funny if there was one guy who was invited to go see Oppenheimer, but then decided, no, I'm not gonna watch Oppenheimer because I don't want to see the sex scenes. So then instead he went to the Phoebe Bridgers concert and then she pulled off her top and flashed everybody. And he was like, oh my God. Do you think that it's possible that there was one guy? See, I'm not like other guys. I would look respectfully at the scene where they're having sexual intercourse, but I would cover my eyes when they built the bomb because war is bad. Did you know Amy Adams just turned like 50 years old? That's crazy, man. She looks it? No, she fucking doesn't, hater. Why don't you go to Ross Dress for Less and see what the average 49 year old looks like in today's day and age? Why don't you go to Ross Dress for Less and see what the average 29-year-old looks like these days? <laughs> she made fun of you for lamowing? She made fun of me for lamowing, Jerry. She said people don't lamow anymore. People don't lamow anymore? It's Idgebol now. It's all Idgebol. I just switched from LOL to LMAO, and now they switched to me again. Kramer shows up. Says, they switched it up on you? Idgebol. Everybody laughs. Ad for joining the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Is that true? It's true, man. You gotta, you gotta take, uh, to get there, you gotta take a boat or a seaplane. You ever hear of an island? Yeah, but this fucker's not on an island. It's on like an incredibly large contiguous landmass. Yes, you can. My dad did multiple trips to Alaska. What are you talking about? Here we go. Here we go. Can you get to Juneau, Alaska by car? Why is Juneau not accessible by car? The absence of a road network is due to the extremely rugged terrain surrounding the city. This in turn makes Juneau a de facto island city in terms of all transportation since goods coming in and out must go by plane or, goat or boat in spite of the city's location on the Alaskan mainland. Guess what? Sounds like you should listen to your dad a little bit more carefully instead of scrolling through your phone while he's telling you about the experiences in his life that led him to be the person that he is today. Because I'm sure your dad, if he went to Juneau, Alaska, probably said we had to take a boat there. And you were going, huh, huh, ice cream so good, ice cream so good, gang, gang. You know, you know the reason I chose you, by the way, is because you said, huh, question mark? My dad literally drove there. And then you, you added a, a coda as well. You said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You didn't have to come at me with that level of aggression when you're incorrect in the first place. It's always, for everybody else, it's always their own decisions tied to their personality. For you, you're like, it's the context, it's the situation. My blood sugar was low, I was hungry. Other people's actions caused me to go on the wrong path. Everybody else is like, wow, that motherfucker's evil. OMG, NL's gonna play my favorite game series. Are you talking about Armored Core? Don't lie. Where did all these Armored Core fans come from? You, you liars. It was a game that eight people in Osaka played until From Software exploded after making a decade of Souls-esque games. Now everybody's like, oh, I'm so glad they're making a new Armored Core. 
You didn't, I didn't hear shit about Armored Core 10 years ago. Nobody was talking about it. They made five of them? Yeah, back in the Sega Saturn days when you were positively zygotic. You were riding the Shinkansen. They made 15 of them? People are saying they made 15 of them. I don't believe it. If they made 15, why isn't the new one called Armored Core 16? People, when I insult real human beings, get his ass. People, when I insult a video game franchise, please be quiet. It's your parents. If you, if you think it's gross to imagine your parents doing it, imagine the fucked up shit your grandparents did, man. Your great-grandparents, grandpa comes back from the, the First World War. What do you think they were getting down to? I bet grandpa was just hidden at missionary, no big deal. Oh, so you like imagining, like, your grandpa and your grandma, like, nose to nose, fucking making out while he's... <laughs> <laughs> while he's bumping up against their damn cervix. That's what, yeah, whispered saying, looking into each other's eyes, saying I love you and stuff like that, whispering sweet nothings into each other's ears. Every once in a while, he like leans down and kisses her on the neck and she moans lightly in his ear. You like imagining your grandparents getting down with that, you sick fuck? You, you disgusting pervert. <laughs> you're sick, you're sick. Game is quiet, game is quiet. I know, because I like to be the star of the show. It's like you're listening to Fancy by uh, Iggy Azalea featuring Charlie XCX, and you're like, oh, Iggy Azalea's quiet. Yeah, that's because we're out here trying to pog off the Charlie XQC, okay? I like that they got Twitch chat on the side, too. Me when I'm on a call with Kai Sinat. Bro, W Squad, W Squad, he's on the call with Kai Sinat. Whoa, little bro's on the call with Kai. What is he talking about? Why is he quoting 2000s era movie d d directed by Jay Roach? Meet the parents so much. Bro, you're creeping out. This, uh, you're scaring the hoes. Stop talking about meet the parents. You, you guys don't understand. It pains me to say this because you don't like to hear the truth. I'm smarter than 85% of you. 15% of you wash me easy. There's no doubt about that. I probably make up for it in other categories. But academically, I rinse 85% of you straight up. Doctor over here, I can dunk on your biology. Don't you have uh, a 9 o'clock appointment to be 21 minutes late to? Uh, and then your 9.30 is going to show up at 9.31 and you're going to have your administrative assistant call them and tell them because they're late, you have to reschedule their appointment for eight months from now? Like, this is serious. I'm a doctor. You need to be at your appointment five minutes early so that we can wait 10 minutes to check you in, have you sit in the lobby for 25 minutes, say, okay, I'll take you to your room now. Uh, have a nurse take your pulse and weigh you on the scale and then sit on that weird butcher's paper for another 25 minutes. Then have the doctor come in and say, oh, you've got a sore throat. What do you want me to do about it? Go home and eat some soup. Two hours out of your day. No big deal. Or even better. Wait, you have a sore throat? You're not supposed to be at the doctor right now. Don't you know there's a pandemic? Get out of here. We only deal with people who are trying to scam us for Ozempic right now. Friends that make me wait to eat my food piss me off. Thank you. There's dozens of them. We can go out for... I will, we'll get along. We'll have conversations with each other. I would be pissed off if a friend got pissed off that I took a bite of my food when it arrived, when their food wasn't there. I would be like... Honestly, no disrespect, Tim Tebow, that's heavy homeschooled energy. My parents always said you should wait for everybody's food to... Okay, bitch, I don't know your parents. Your parents could have voted for Mitt Romney for all I know. Like, I don't, you give them respect because they gave birth to you. I don't know who the hell they are. Mouth is not a good gamer. He's just slightly better than you. I'm old. I don't derive my self-esteem from being a good gamer anymore. That's, that's what I did when I was 16 and girls didn't want to talk to me. Now I derive my self-worth from how many plus twos I get in chat. As long as I'm getting the plus twos, I'm doing, I, I don't care if all four people want to escape. Now girls do want to talk to you? Well, yeah. I don't want to brag, but my wife talks to me every day. I'll just be like doing something and then she'll be like, hey, can you go get the ladder from the garage? I'm in, bro. <laughs> hey, I got to cook. Can you look after our daughter for a bit? She fucking loves me, dude. Unprompted. I didn't even do a pickup line or anything. I'm just I'm eating a ham sandwich off of a little plate in the kitchen. 
She'll be like, hey, can you run out to the Home Depot and pick up some three-eighths of an inch screws? <laughs> Yeah, maybe if, you, maybe if you buy me dinner first. All right, that did not go well. Slash marker. YouTube, don't age restrict this video. I was telling some things that people need to hear. If you can't hear about your parents doing it, you're not ready for what the future holds, okay? Didn't you hear Goldman Sachs has $1 trillion in collateral for $3 trillion, trillion in derivatives? The animals are leaving. We're alone in this universe, but maybe it doesn't matter because I just want somebody to... You know. Anyway, um...